Hi guys, welcome to the Estodog test bench. We've got something special we're going to try today. Um, this here is one of the 90mm caisson refractors. Um, it really is a delight, this one. Let's have a bit of a look at it. We're just going to unpack it and take a look. And I'll see. I'll show you why we like this one so much. So, a very unassuming box. Okay, so Astrodog have been working with um, Caisson now for about four years, and in that time we've fed a lot of information back to Caisson about what what we like over here, and the results have been this model, which is the Mark II of this version that we've introduced. And we'll just have a look at it. So first of all, the thing that just immediately stands out is the um, the finish of this refractor. I really love it. It's just an absolutely gorgeous texture um, that we have. Um, it it uh, feels great to the touch. It's just uh, really nice. Now the rings that uh, the caisson make are superb. We uh, really like these. Uh, we have a seven millimeter thickness, so they're about 25% thicker than the Skywatcher caisson versions. Um, the, uh, the actual screws that we have, the thumb screws to tighten up the rings, uh, well they're just a pleasure to use. So we always do recommend you just pop a little bit of grease on those just to make sure that those are maintained nicely. Um, and one of the best things about that we love about this is the virtual complete lack of plastic. We have um, had long discussions with Kason about improving these and so these ones here are almost entirely metal um, we have a metal here this you think it's plastic it's actually not it's actually coated metal so they are actually quite strong um, what we do love about these even the you can hear that here those are actually metal um, and also um, we've had them enlarged a little bit so they provide a really lovely way to focus um, you don't really need a two to one for this sort of focal length. It's just really nice uh, to have that sort of focus here. If you did want to attach accessories to the back, we've had some special modifications made to the back here. Uh, one of the things here is that we have a three system screw. So that locks in very nicely. And if that weren't enough, we have actually gone with a full compression ring inside here, which is overall grips it. Uh, if you look at some of the other uh, types you all you have is two screws and then that digs right into the whatever part you're putting in there So we avoid that using this um, threefold compression system and it is uh, Very very solid indeed when uh, when things go in there once you've uh, found your focus that you want you can lock your uh, focus in over here and uh, that goes really well So let's have a look at the front now um, This is the only plastic bit and this is uh, pretty much the lid uh, and we'll just pop that off and uh, we have some uh, very nice quality here it's uh, we'll just see if we can uh, put, a, put a light on there there we go not sure if you'll see much of that but there's a very pleasant uh, very good quality green coating on top um, and you can actually see through there you can see some uh, some work that's been done just to remove any stray light um, on the insides there so it's um Really a very very fine refractor um, So we love it. I hope that that's given you a bit of an insight into this particular one um, I think that would be a pleasure for uh, for any astronomy to have in their collection